Family, welcome, welcome to our Sunday night time to evolve call. We are glad to have each and every one of you on the line tonight because we have a very special Valentine's Day master training with none other than our absolutely fabulous Tony Ward. Now, some of you may not know who Tony is, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. She is a part of the Elite Eight, which means she is one of the founding members of Evolution Travel, but she came on and hit the ground running as an understatement. She hit all of the ranks first. She set the standard and the pace to show everyone how to grow their teams. She is also a master travel trainer. She is a team building trainer. She is absolutely at the top of her game. She is a multiple IATAN card holder, meaning she is booking travel on a high level professionally. She is a one-star platinum. She is a mentor. She is a fabulous lady who gives, gives, and gives. When I tell you that she is very, very selfless and everything that she knows, she wants to pour it into someone else. So with that being said, family, I want you to jump into the chat box and welcome to the line, Miss Tony Ward. Tony, are you available to take the call? Absolutely. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. The call is Thank on you. Thank you so much, you guys. I am so excited. Uh oh. Oh, I thought it went away. <laughs> I am so excited, you guys, to be here on Valentine's Day, sharing this special day with you. I want to tell you guys, thank you. First of all, thank you to Deidre for always popping in on board. So professional. Always have, you know, the whole company's back. Really excited about you, Deidre. I'm so happy to have met you. I am excited to see you guys, though, so much. I see you guys wearing red. I see you coupled up. I see Kamisha over there with her boo. They were kissing. I was like, mm. <laughs> so cute. I am super excited, you guys. You know what? When I do something, I got to go all the way. So I got the pink and red hair just for you guys. I hope that you like it. I hope you like it. Um, but I'm all Valentine's Day up, okay? This training for me, I've been thinking about it for a couple of weeks. And I was like, okay, God, I need you to download some good stuff into me. I need you to help me to be a vessel so I can give them the information that you want them to have. Let me share my screen. Let me share some information too. Now, those of you who know me, hop in the chat box and say, I know, Tony, know that I've had computer problems forever, okay? I don't care how much money you make, I'm still a little bit cheap. So I finally had to buy a new computer yesterday, okay? And I'm happy I did. I was like, oh, wow, I didn't know computers could do this. <laughs> so what if normally it would have taken me like a whole you know, five or six hours to do only took me one hour. So I had so much more extra time to get some good stuff for you guys. So work with me now, work with me. Let me make sure I do this correctly because this will be the first time. Uh oh, he's asking me to share computer. Oh Lord, Jesus. Hold on one second. Let me see. He's asking me for a password. He's asking me for a password. Okay, here we go. We're going to get this thing going. Let's see. Nope, that is the wrong button. You don't have to be a genius, you guys. You just have to want to do it, okay? So let me see. Let me go over to slideshow. I think that's right, right? Okay. Can you guys see it? Is it okay? Is everything there? Fabulous. Thank you, Irene. I am super excited because what I'm going to talk to you guys about today goes across all lines, all, it doesn't matter what company you're working with. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you're doing it with, but this can be applied in any area of your life, period. So I want to share some stuff with you and we're going to talk about it. I'm excited. If you guys want some value on Valentine's day, do me a favor, put a V in the chat box. Let me know you're here for all of it. I want to make sure before we get started though, everybody has everything they need. Let me remove this so I can see. I'm hoping we can get to 200 people today too. If you have somebody that you want on here, hide floating, man, yeah, that you want on here, give them a call. Let them know we're about to have some fun, okay? So I hope you guys have your marshmallows. Did you guys bring your marshmallows? Big marshmallows. Let me see, let me see. Okay, I see those marshmallows. Yes. Okay, marshmallows. You got your marshmallows. I hope everybody has their popcorn. You got your popcorn? Okay, 
Yay, yay, yay. Good. Got your popcorn. Got your marshmallows. Perfect. Let me set this over here. I feel like I'm on a cooking show because I got the little bowls and I'm setting it over here. <laughs> I hope you guys have everything you need to drink, whether it's non-alcoholic or for me, it's a little bubbly for me, right? It's Valentine's Day. We have to celebrate all the love. So why not celebrate it with the toast? Okay. I see you, Olivia. Water is cool. <laughs> That's fine. As long as you have something to drink. I don't want you guys to have to get up. I want you guys to be comfortable. And I want you guys to understand that we are all here for the same reason to learn. I'm going to feed off of you. Hopefully you'll learn a lot from what I have to give, share with you, okay? Have my little glass. I'm going to pour it so that I can sip a little bit while we're doing our training. I hope you guys don't mind. Is there anybody here that minds? Does anybody mind? It's a holiday. We have to celebrate. And in our business, because we make our own schedule, you know, calendar, it's always a holiday. So we get to do things our way. So I'm excited. Let's see. Let's see. Remember, new computer. Our training today is called the goal, the journey, the destination, right? Where are you going? How are you going to get there? And who are you going to be there with, right? Look to your left, look to your right. Whoever you're here with tonight, that's probably the person you're going to be taking this journey with, right? Now, maybe not. Well, she, Olivia's shaking her head yes. Okay, good. <laughs> maybe they just didn't leave the house before the training. Who knows? But I hope that that's the person that you're going to take this journey with. I hope that this training gives both of you guys the value that you need. I know some people are here. I know Patrice is here with her pet. Oh, okay. Olivia has her pet too. It doesn't matter. Everybody is welcome. So I'm super excited. Now, we're going to talk about a couple of things. The journey, the goal, the destination, right? And we're talking about things. We're talking about them in threes. Now, I want you guys to understand that powerful things happen in threes. Have you guys ever heard that things happen in threes? Anybody? Am I the only person that heard that, right? Three blind mice, the three wise men, the beginning, the middle, and the end, right? The past, the present, the future, the mind, the body, the spirit, right? Hop in the chat box for me. Tell me something that you know that happened in threes. What's something that you will know of that happens in threes? Let me see. Birth, life, death. There's three types of matter, right? Animals, vegetables, minerals. Three primary colors. There are three colors, you guys, that will make all the other colors in the entire world. Rainbow. Three types of music, right? The do, re, when people say do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, but the do, the fa, and the so will make all the other notes. How many of you guys knew that? The divine principle, right? Three, light, heat, and life. Then the earth, sky, and the sea. Those are the three things that make up, make up you know, creation. And according to the Chinese, three is the number of perfection. Let me hop in the chat box and see if you guys have some knowledge like I found out about three. Yes, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So important. Relax, relate, release. Absolutely. Yep, the three musketeers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, Sherry said, I have three sons. You have the perfect number of sons, Sherry. Super cool to be able to you know, understand that if you group them in threes, more than likely is going to be okay. Now, let's talk about the goal, the journey, and the destination, right? The beginning, the middle, and the end. Now, when you have a goal, of course, you are going to have to um, stick to it. Now, here's the cool part about a goal. You have to understand the principles related to that goal, right? A goal without a timeline is just a dream. If you say, oh, I want to lose some weight. I have a goal to lose some weight, but when? That's not a goal, really. That's just a dream, okay? I know yesterday I was passing by the gym and I said, oh, I need to lose some weight as I was sticking two senorita breads in my mouth, right? It's just a dream. <laughs> I'm not gonna lose any kind of weight that way. So we have to do that. Now, your goals should scare you a little and excite you a lot, right? Have you ever tried to make some type of big decision like buying a house, buying a car, quitting a job, changing positions, getting married. When you had that little queasy feeling in your stomach, you're a little nervous about it. That means you are making a goal and you're doing it in the right direction. You're going in the right direction. Definitely, definitely. Do you guys hear noise behind me? Let me see. Let 
Let me see. Okay. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see, hear that noise behind me, but I can hear it. Okay, so goals should scare you a little, excite you a lot, right? Now, I want you guys to take out pen and paper. You're gonna be taking notes, okay? You're gonna be taking notes. And I want you guys to get all the information down. It's really important that you guys write these things down because writing is important, okay? Now, when you write it down, number one, it makes it enforceable, right? It's enforceable. You can't have a verbal contract for real estate or anything big if it's not in writing. The judge can't enforce it. We want you to be able to enforce your, with yourself what you're doing, okay? Now, have you heard any kind of like quotes about writing, right? You hear people say, well, did you get it in writing? Get it in writing. Oh, he said that. I need you to get it in writing. Can you email me that? Can you sign that? I need you to write it down, right? How about the pen is mightier than the sword? Have all of us heard that before? Writing is so powerful. If it's not in writing, it's not enforceable, right? You want to be able to keep a record of your goals. You want to be able to go back and say, hey, I wrote this, you know, in my book two years ago. I want to see if I reached them. These are some things that I was thinking that I was thinking about, right? You don't want to just tell somebody what you want your will to say. You want to write it down, right? When you write stuff down, it helps to clear your mind. Have you ever heard somebody say, okay, before you get upset, write it down. Write down how you're feeling, read it, throw it away, read it, burn it, whatever they tell you to do. But that's important. It also helps with motivation, right? You have the little sticky notes, you write on them, you put them on your mirror, and then you're looking in the mirror in the morning and you're motivating yourself. You're remembering, okay, we're going to run a mile today. We're going to call our clients today, right? It helps you to recognize and process emotions encouragement, self-encouragement, same as motivation, but you can also encourage others with the things that you write down. It enables your thinking and it develops gratitude. When you start writing and you see all the stuff that you're writing and you think you want to do or you want to have and you start to, you know, start to check off those boxes, you are so grateful for the opportunity to be able to do that. So that's the good part about it. Now, what we're going to talk about today is going to be fun because it's going to be a twist in here. It's going to be a twist everybody's going to be happy. And those of you that stay to the end are going to be really, really, really happy. <laughs> okay. So we want to talk about your 30 day goals, your six month goals, and your one year goals. Those are important. How many of you guys have goals? What are you thinking about? What do you want in the next 30 days? What do you want in the next six months? What do you want in the next year? What do you guys want? A car, a house, a boat, some new boobs, a new butt, Come on now, let's keep it real. I was on Facebook today and they're like, what do you want for um Valentine's Day? And I saw a lot of plastic surgery on that list. So <laughs> there's a lot of things that people want. I, I, I'm going to be I'm gonna be honest. I put some stuff on the list too that I wanted. <laughs> but yeah, you want to increase your income. Maybe you want to make more a year. Maybe you, instead of making 100000 a year, you want to make a million dollars a year. Maybe you want to get that promotion. There's so many things um, that you can do if you write them down. Because remember, that's important to make sure it's in writing, you guys. And you can hold yourself accountable. Your partner can hold yourself accountable. If you're here with a partner tonight, that person should be invested in your goals the same way you are invested in your goals. That's really important, okay? Now, 30 days, six months, one year. I know you guys have heard some of these quotes. The journey of a thousand miles starts with one step, right? You can't go ahead and lose that weight unless you get to the gym or you did have to do that first push up, that first sit up, walk that first step towards your mile. Life is not a journey. It's a destination. People say life is not a journey, it's a destination. I believe the destination is the journey. And we'll talk about that a little bit. Okay, like for instance, for your goals and your destinations, let's talk about it. You know, where are you going? Who's going with you? What type of vehicle? We'll talk about the vehicle. And how will you get there, okay? Different types of journeys. College is a journey, right? You started, you had to go through, you know, all those years, and then you finally graduated. You can't get to the graduation unless you go through the journey. High school, middle school, elementary school, what about your job? Getting to that promotion, or even just a job in itself, going through the interview process, or let's go back. The beginning is when you fill out the application. The middle is the interview process. 
And then the destination was actually receiving the job. So there's so many journeys that we go through and it really, you know, affects our life. But here's the thing. A lot of times when we get to that destination, the journey starts again, right? Let's talk about children. Anybody here have kids? Anybody? I have a son. He's 17 now. Love him to death. But getting pregnant was a journey in itself, right? Getting pregnant, going through the pregnancy, and then giving birth to the baby. A lot of times that's the destination. Yes, you now have your child, right? But then the journey really starts. So then there's, there are multiple journeys within the journeys that you're going through. And that's what I want you guys to understand that I'm going to help you today understand how to get through those journeys faster, easier, and without having to do it yourself, okay? Let's talk about the beginning, the middle, and the end. The goal is when you make the decision, right? You've already said, this is what I want to do. You have continued confirmation, the things that you go through while you're going, you know, trying to reach that destination. Let's say you're going from San Francisco to LA. You have to pass by all those other cities before you get to LA, but you're on your way. You're, you're going to get there, right? So, and then you get to celebrate when you finally get to your destination, wherever that might be. Now, the journey is the longest and most satisfying part of your process, but there are going to be some things that might happen on your journey. Twists and turns, maybe some broken navigation, detours, accidents, breakdowns. There'll be hills and valleys, but who wants to go on a roller coaster that just goes straight? Don't you want your roller coaster to kind of go up and down and, and around and have some fun, right? Your journey has to be satisfying in lots of different ways. You won't learn anything if it's just a straight journey because you're going to have disappointments. But on the flip side of that, while you're on your journey, there will be green pastures and peaceful scenery. There'll be milestones and lessons, right? Your kids will turn 5, 10, 18, right? 21, then they'll be married. Lessons, victories. Your journey can provide you with pure satisfaction, okay? Now, I want you guys to hop in the chat box real quick. Give me some ideas. What do you have for a 30-day goal? I just want to see the 30-day goals, the six-month and the one year is fine. What do you want right now? What do you want in 30 days? March 14th, you want to look back and say, I was on that call on Valentine's Day. It is March 14th. I stayed on my path and I've achieved my goal. I've reached my journey. today is where you start, right? Today is your goal. Today is the beginning, okay? So what do you guys want? Hop in the chat box, let me know. I wanna see. What do you guys want? What do you want? Put it out there. Remember, putting it in writing is so powerful. You are making a contract with yourself. Nice, five bookings, lose more weight, have 10 bookings. Okay, and whatever that journey, whatever that destination is, you have to figure out which route you're gonna go. How are you gonna get there? And who are you gonna take with you? Okay, that is so important. Now you that you decided on your destination. I see you guys have I'm I got computers everywhere. So I'm looking everywhere. Now that you've decided, I see some really, really, really tangible goals here. Nice. Patrice says she wants to close 250,000 in travel bookings. I know Patrice, she did that in her first month as a travel agent. So cool. Okay. So before you get on the road to your destination, okay? You have to figure out who you're going with. How many of you guys have gone on a road trip before? Anybody gone on a road trip? Anybody? You can't just get in the car with anybody, right? You don't wanna go on a road trip with somebody. If you, can you think of one person in your mind that you would not wanna go on a road trip with? You have to make sure that you have the right passengers in your vehicle, okay? So you gotta check their credentials. You're not gonna just let anybody cook you dinner, right? Has anybody been to a potluck and wants to know who made the mac and cheese? Who made the potato salad? Before you put it on your plate, you want to know who made it, right? So the same thing goes with, you know, who's getting in your car? Who's going along on your journey? That's important to understand that because if you wouldn't give them your ATM card and trust them with your money, they shouldn't be with you on your journey either. Now, we need to know who's in your vehicle. Who's in your car, okay? Your vehicle is your circle. It could be supportive, it could be disruptive, it can be encouraging, or it can be dismantling. Your vehicle is your circle, okay? Your circle is on the journey 
with you to your destination. So whatever you want to do, if you said, okay, I want to lose 10 pounds, your circle should be encouraging you. There should be people in that circle that are helping you get to that destination. They are riding in this vehicle with you to make sure that you get there. You can't do it yourself, okay? This vehicle can take you all the way, depending on who you have in there with you, without any problems, with no accidents, okay, safely. But if you choose the wrong people that ride with you in your vehicle, you can actually not get there at all, okay? That's not what we're trying to do. Like pull over to the side, let me out. I cannot take this anymore. Let's just go back. It's not worth it. Let's just go back, right? So we have to understand what vehicle do you have? Is it a plane, a train, right? Automobile, a bus, are you on a bike, a boat, shopping cart? If you're a kid and your journey was through the shopping, you know, the grocery store, your mom, your vehicle will be a shopping cart, right? So are you going fast? Are you going slow? How are you going to get to this destination? You guys, we are about to go on a road trip. Us. You guys want to go on a road trip with me? I want to go on a road trip. Let's go on our road trip. It's time to get down to the nitty gritty. And I want to go through on a road trip. But we got to figure out what's our vehicle going to look like. Which one of these cars are you going to choose to go on your road trip, right? I love green. I got green hair. <laughs> but I'm not getting in that green station wagon, okay? I am so sorry. You got to figure out which vehicle you want to ride in. Remember, your vehicle is your circle. The people you ride with, you hang around five broke people, you're going to be broke. Hang around five accomplished people, you're going to be accomplished. Happy people usually have happy people hanging around them. You're not going to get a bunch of ne no negative Nancys and then one happy person. She's eventually going to turn into a negative Nancy, okay? So we got to figure this out. You guys, get a piece of paper. I need you all to get your paper and pen right now. This part is important. Get your piece of paper, and you might need to fill up your glass for this next part, okay? Because you're going to have to be really honest. You're going to have to do some thinking, and you know, that'll help you loosen up your brain a little bit. <laughs> you can get the information. So I want you to write this down because this is going to be important. This is your vehicle. This is your car. This is your circle. This is how you get from, from um, point A to point B. You have to understand who in your life is your seatbelt, who keeps you safe, who makes sure you're okay, who is riding in your back seat. You're just kind of tagging. They're just kind of tagging along. Wherever you go, they go. When you go left, they go left. When you go right, they go right. They can't do anything. They're just in the back seat, right? Who has control of your steering wheel? Who is your brakes? Who can say, hey, listen, Karina, Katrina, you shouldn't do that. You know, pump your brakes a little bit. I don't think you should do that. You know, you have to understand who plays each part in your car. Here's the thing. A lot of times we try to be the entire vehicle. We try to be that person that takes ourselves from point A to point B. We can't do that, okay? This is where you gotta start eating your popcorn and stuff and drinking your wine because you guys have to understand that you cannot be the entire vehicle, right? Your engine cannot also be your windshield wipers. The GPS can't play music. You have to understand that different people play different roles in your life. And a lot of times what we try to do is we try to make our friends and family become transformers, right? You can't bend people out of shape. You have to make sure that people play their roles and their parts and that's it. Now, here's the cool part about it. You can always replace parts, right? You can always refurbish them. You could throw them away if they're not working for your vehicle. If your vehicle's not getting you where you want to go, you can always replace the parts that are stopping you from getting to your next destination, which is really cool. So listen, you got to figure out who plays what part. Are you kind of like, are your wheels spinning a little bit? Are you understanding like, okay, hmm, I wonder who's my engine. Okay, who gives me fuel? Who motivates me? Who's always just riding along? Who's in the back seat? Who's your passenger seat person? Your passenger seat person is probably the person sitting next to you. Because they're going to be, you know, I got shotgun, I got you, we're going to do this. They're going to be, you know, there with you, right? But what happens when something breaks down? Who's your mechanic? It doesn't have to be a person. Something breaks down, something's not going right. My mechanic is God, right? Or your mechanic could be meditation. Or your mechanic can be whatever. So you have to understand who plays what part 
in your vehicle if you want your vehicle to get you to that next destination. Now, the journey is a group effort. This is not a riding along thing. You can't hop in this car and say, I'm going to get myself to my next position by myself. You're going to need some people to do that with you, whether it's the people that you're bringing into your business, the people that are buying your products and services, whatever it is, you need to understand that this cannot be done alone. You're going to have somebody, somebody's going to have to help you in your vehicle. Who here can ride in the fast lane on the, free, on the freeway without an engine, brakes, wheels, or a car? None of us. You're going to need some people with you, okay? Now, tell me, why do you think it would be bad to go on a road trip by yourself. You're going on a road trip. You're going from the East Coast to the West Coast. It's going to take you like four days. And they tell you, you got to go by yourself. And you're like, no, I can't go by myself because why? I want you guys to tell me. Hop in the chat box. Let me know. Why can't you ride by yourself? Number one, it's going to take longer, right? It's going to take longer. You don't get to share those experiences with the people, right? Who's going to motivate you when you're tired? And you want to stop like come on we can do it let's just do one more hour here hold on i can be your backup driver when you're tired somebody else can take over for you same thing happens when you're in your business you have to have somebody that can be your backup driver if you have you know webinars and meetings and you get sick you don't have to pull over and stop your journey your backup driver can take your place and get there for you so you got to make sure you have the right backup driver in that situation okay now, if you don't have a backup driver, you're trying to do everything yourself, you're not going to get to your destination without, number one, taking way longer than you should have, and number two, contemplating turning around. How many times have you been in a business and it just got too hard? You felt like you didn't have any help, you didn't have any support, you didn't have anybody to, to be that riding shotgun with you, and you said, you know what, maybe this trip isn't worth it. Maybe I should turn around and go back. Maybe I shouldn't do this right? You have to do this. You have to. Now, here's the problem. A lot of times people think, I don't want to ask for help. I don't want to do it. You know, I can do it by myself. But even as children, we are taught not to do it alone, right? Can you remember your mom saying, hey, take your sister with you. Take your brother with you. Don't go outside by yourself, right? At school. Okay, you going to the bathroom? Use the buddy system. Something as little as going to the bathroom, you're told to use the buddy system, right? Now, as children, we are taught those things. And as adults, we become older children, right? That are either too old or too stubborn to remember the lessons we learned when we were establishing our foundations. Why do we do that, right? We were kids, they told us, don't go by yourself. Use the buddy system, right? Be, our, am I your brother's keeper? Quicker people are quick to say, I'm not his keeper. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know where he's at. Why? We weren't taught to do that. We were taught to do the exact opposite, okay? So we have some assignments to do. Now, here's the cool part, you guys. When you're done, I have all of these worksheets. Everything's going to be given to you. But for right now, take a piece of paper, and I want you to fold it in three, like fold it in three, or just put two lines down the middle so that you can make this chart. I want you guys to really start, you know, thinking about and understanding uh oh, that's not right. That's smart marshmallows. <laughs> I want you guys to really start understanding what your vehicle looks like. Are you in that little raggedy station wagon? Do you have nobody that's working with you? Are you trying to get your parts together? Are you still building your car? It's okay to still be building your vehicle as long as you know where you are, where you're going, and who you have to go with, okay? That's really important. So do it. take a couple minutes, you guys. Let's start writing down the parts. Let's talk about, you know, the battery. Who keeps you charged up, right? Is it your kids? Are they the reason why you're, you're waking up every morning trying to make sure you get your business together? Who's keeping you charged up, right? Who's holding you up? Who are you relying on? Who is your seat? Who are you sitting on, right? Like who is holding you up, making sure that you are okay? Now, your goals are in place, right? Your clothes are packed seatbelt on and even before we take off we realize that we've run out of gas which is typical because when you get a new vehicle right when you have a new idea or thought 
or dream, we start running, 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 and we're excited. And before we know it, we run out of gas. Who's going to refill your ambitions? Who's going to be there to help, you know, feed those dreams? You need to know that. Who's your fuel? Write that down, you guys. Write down who's your fuel, okay? Who are your wheels? Who's making you go? If you have, somebody said they have three boys, those three boys will be your wheels. They are making you go, right? Without those boys or your, you know, your family commitments, it might be a little bit, you know, harder, but who are your wheels? Who are you doing this for? That is so important for you guys to understand that, okay? Now, the, the worst thing that can happen is that stinking thinking starts to happen. I can't do it. It's too hard. I'm not like them. She did it, but she's different. That stinking thinking can stop you from ever getting your engine going. What part of this car are you? You can't be the engine, the seatbelt, the gears, the fuel, the backseat, the wheels, the mechanic, the music. You can't be all of those things. You have to understand that you got to figure out what parts you play the best. How are you going to get this vehicle to your destination? And here's the cool part. When you get that vehicle to the destination, everybody in the car gets there, right? You can't be in the car going up a hill and the other people going down a hill. Everybody in the car is going up a hill. Everybody in the car is going down a hill. You got to decide what this group of people are going to do, okay? Super cool. Take some minutes. I see you guys putting some really, oh my goodness. John, you just read my mind. Get in your head. You're, yeah, get in your head, uh-huh. The little voice in your head. That little voice in your head, that's your music, right? You hear people say, oh, she's a whole mood. Your whole mood, that's your music. That little voice in your head controls every single thing you do. And it repeats whatever you're thinking. It repeats so loud, harmoniously. It could be saying, you can do it. You can do it. You can. And that song might be playing in your head. You got to change that channel. You get to control what's on your mind. You get to control the voices in your head, okay? Now you have to understand like who's talking to you, okay? I want you guys to understand that speech is so important. This is going to sound unconventional, but if I ask you guys to do something with me, would you do it? Even if it was sounding a little bit crazy, would you do it? If I asked you guys to do something, would you do it? Yeah, I'm waiting. You guys are like, what does she want me to do? I don't know. She has pink hair. I don't know what she wants us to do. Stick your tongue out. Everybody, I see people looking at me like, uh-uh. What kind of training is this? <laughs> Stick your tongue out. Listen, you have so much power in that little tongue of yours. So much power, you guys. Now, that tongue can speak life or it can speak death into any situation that you're dealing with, right? You're just one conversation away from greatness. You're just one conversation away of killing all your dreams. But this little tongue in your mouth controls all of that, okay? And remember, that stinking thinking can stop every single goal you have from becoming a reality and keep it a dream. Remember, that little thing in your mouth is the most powerful thing you have. It controls every single thing about you, about your surroundings, and it can bring forth what you, what you speak about, you bring about. Have you ever said something over and over and over? Let me tell you, I had gained, lost some weight, right? And then I started gaining weight again. <clears throat> and I kept saying, I didn't get, I, I kept saying I, I gained 20 pounds. I gained 20 pounds. I gained 20 pounds. I didn't gain 20 pounds. I gained like 13 pounds. But guess what? I got on the scale yesterday. And I gained 20 pounds. <laughs> like you have to be careful about what you say. Keep saying, I am wonderful. Whatever it is you want, speak it. Oh, yes, I'm about to. Yes, I love my Range Rover. My Range Rover is fabulous. Oh, I, I don't have a Range Rover, but one day I will. I'm going to keep on saying it, right? That's my dream car. I'll have This time next year, I'll have it, okay? So you have to speak and you have to believe what you're saying. Keep on saying it until you believe it. Now, that's really important. Once I began to understand how powerful my speech was and my tongue was and what I thought about was, I started to make sure I was able to, you know, curve that. I wanted to be able to move, touch, and inspire anybody and everybody I, 
I came in contact with, including myself. You are the person you should be motivating. You are the person you should be inspiring. That's you, okay? I hope you guys are still writing these things down because we're gonna talk about it. Let's talk about it. Does anybody have one they wanna share? The engine, who is your engine? I wanna know who's your engine and what obstacles can come on so that the engine doesn't work. What can happen to make your engine not work? I wanna know. Think about it, what are those obstacles? Maybe, you know, not motivated, okay? And you don't have anybody, or maybe the car breaks down, you're sick, you know, you can't do it for whatever reason. You need a mechanic. You don't have a mechanic. There's so many different things. What stops you from doing your business? I want to know. Hop in the chat box just a couple of words and tell me, what are some of the obstacles? What are some of the obstacles? I want to know. Crohn's disease. No family. Hmm. Listen, you guys. I want you guys to understand that the people that you see here on this call are not just people you work with, are not just people who have the same type of business as you. This is your family. We see each other more than we see our families. We talk to each other more than we talk to our families. Why can't we talk about everything? There are enough people on this line right now to operate your entire vehicle, but building those relationships are the important part. Okay. Time for our marshmallows. You guys got your marshmallows? Because as you go down the road, okay, there are going to be obstacles, there are going to be problems, there's going to be negativity, and there are going to be bumps in the road. These are your bumps in the road, okay? And I want you guys to understand something about these bumps in the road. I want you to take some minutes, some, some time, and think about the bumps in the road that you have. This marshmallow, look at it. You can squeeze it, you can pull it, you can do all kinds of stuff. It's not permanent. Those bumps in the road are not permanent. I'm sorry, I keep eating my problems. <laughs> so listen, I want you guys to take your marshmallows. We're gonna take about 30 seconds. I want you to take a marshmallow for every obstacle you think you have. And I want you to make sure you have all of them. Don't leave any obstacles there, okay? I want you to keep all the obstacles and put them on your table, however many obstacles. Let me see. I don't have enough time. My husband doesn't believe in me. I don't have lots of money. I can't, I don't know what to do with my bill. I can't pay my bill. What else? I can't even think of no obstacles because I, I don't have any. Um, whatever obstacles you have. Let's go. Now, if you have small, if there are smaller ones, use your small ones. Oh, I just, I'm just lazy a little bit, you know? So whatever obstacles you have, I want you to put them out there on the table. Take a couple minutes, get your obstacles together. I'm going to read a little bit to you guys while you guys are filling out this form, getting your obstacles and getting the marshmallow for every obstacle. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do with your obstacles in just a second, Okay. I want you guys to understand something too while you're doing that. There are how many of us on this line tonight? About 200 of us on this line. Listen, we all got here, right? Multiple people can get to the same destination and have a different journey, right? All of us that are here, just like a bus, people get on the bus at the same stop get off at the same stop. We don't know how they got to that stop. We don't know where they're going when they get off the bus, right? But they got there just like us. We all logged in here today, 6.30, right? Some of us were early. Some of us were a little late, depending on our journey, okay? But that's, it's just, you were intentional in whatever it was, however you got here, you got to this destination. So don't think because you see two platinums or you see two millionaires, or you see two people with the exact same car, same car, same year, same model, same price, that they got to that destination in the same way. Your journey is unique. And I need you guys to understand that because a lot of times people want to run somebody else's race and you can't run somebody else's race. Okay. I got to one star platinum, 36 hours, whatever. If you guys knew what I had to do those 30 years before I got there, you probably say, you know what? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
I don't want that life, right? You never know what somebody's journey would be. And I don't want to get into all of that because I'm not going to do it. But I want you guys to understand that when you're looking at the destination, you have to understand that the journey is individual. Okay. I want you guys to understand that. That's so important because a lot of like, oh, but, but I've been in the business for three years and I'm only a silver. I've been in the business for a year and I haven't booked anybody's travel yet. Guess what? You still can write off your taxes. You still can do whatever you need to, you know, all the, the um, other things are still the same, but your journey is your own. I need you guys to completely understand that. You guys got it? Whose journey is it? Whose journey is it? Hop in the chat box. Let me know. Your journey is your own, right? Whose journey is it? It's my journey. It's mine, right? What, what, how I live my life is mine, right? It might not be the way somebody else thinks it's supposed to be. It's your journey. Own it and appreciate it because you have your journey for a specific le- for a specific reason. There's we don't know what your lesson's supposed to be from your journey. That's for you. So you guys, your obstacles. So you guys got your obstacles out, right? You got your obstacles. I want you guys to look at these obstacles and I want you to really look at them and understand what they represent. The speed bumps in your life, the things that are stopping you on that road, not letting you get to where you need to go. And I want you to understand that you can squish those obstacles. You don't have to even worry about those obstacles. These obstacles are not permanent. The things that you guys are talking about are not permanent, okay? And they taste pretty good, too. But you guys, make sure... Mm, let me drink a little bit. Of this. <laughs> yeah, that obstacle tasted really good. Understand that you can get rid of that obstacle just as easy as I got rid of that, my obstacle, okay? That's really important. Think about it. Every time you think, oh my goodness, I don't have enough time, your time is a marshmallow. Oh my goodness, I don't have enough money, that money is a marshmallow, right? You can squeeze it, make it more. Oh, this is my money, okay, I can make it more. I'm not going to eat this one, y'all, I'm not going to eat it. But understand, that's what it is. I need you guys to know that, okay? negativity, bumps in the road, obstacles, okay? Yes, Mona. Mona says learning something new is scary. She's very, Mona's being very vulnerable in the chat. And I appreciate that vulnerability. Um, She's scared to fail. Nursing was all I knew before I had my stroke. Learning something new is scary. Absolutely, absolutely. It's scary, but it can definitely be done. Get into your travel, get into your Forex, get into whatever business. You know, that's the one thing about our businesses. They're up to us. You know, we can run them really good. Okay, so the destination is fabulous. The destination has been um, the journey, right? Your accomplishment, your high school diploma, your college diploma. This is time for you to celebrate. That's why we have our popcorn because people like popcorn and they like wine. And I've ate enough on this call, so I won't eat anything else. But it's time to celebrate. It's absolutely, excuse me, a win-win situation. Definitely a win-win situation, okay? You have to understand that, you know, when they say win-win, it's because you're all in the vehicle together. You're working together to get to a common goal, right? Now, here's the cool part about your car. I want you guys to write this down. Write this down. <clears throat> this is important. Your vehicle is always moving, no matter how slow it is. Some people's vehicles move so slow, you think they're not doing nothing. But time is passing, so the vehicle is moving, okay? So don't say that, oh, they're just in the same spot. No one's ever in the same spot. Now, even though you have put those people's names in those places, okay? Pieces and parts of every vehicle can be replaced, rebuilt, and recycled repurposed, right? Maybe your friend becomes your husband or the parent turns into the child, okay? <clears throat> and reject it. Mm-hmm. Everybody's vehicle is equipped with an eject button. If something is stopping your car from working, you can reject it. I need you guys to understand because people are in your lives, as we know, another three, for a reason, for a season, or for a lifetime. And you have to understand, is this a lifetime piece of my vehicle? Or do I just need this piece to get to the next destination? You guys have to understand that. I want you guys to really 
um, take this information and evaluate what type of vehicle do you have? Who's in your circle? Are you rolling in a Pinto or a Porsche? What do you have? Pinto or a Porsche? You need to understand. Where are your friends? Where are your circle? Where are the people that you're dealing with and getting you to? Where are you guys going? Okay. Now, are you a Beamer or a bus pass? Are you rolling or are you riding? You have to understand. You have to be honest with yourself. Am I rolling in somebody else's car? I mean, am I rolling my car? Or am I riding in somebody else's car? I have to figure that part out. Now, you can ride in somebody else's car. You can be somebody else's piece, but you got to have your own car too. You can definitely visit somebody else's vehicle, but you need to have your own vehicle too, okay? Does your engine really work? Does your car go? Or is it one of those little play cars outside the grocery store? <clears throat> Are you spinning in circle? <clears throat> Are you spinning in circles? I'm sorry, you guys, too many marshmallows. You have to know... Are you pushing the car uphill? How hard would it be to push an empty car uphill? You got to understand that. <clears throat> you can't get to that destination by yourself. Now, here's the cool part about today's assignment. It's Valentine's Day. And we want to share as much love <clears throat> as we possibly can. Okay, as much love. I want you guys, whoever you put in your spaces, and remember, you are going to get this worksheet in your email. Whoever you put in those spaces, I want you to say, hey, I'm gonna call Irene and say, hey, Irene, girl, you're my seatbelt. When I think about you, I know I'm safe. It doesn't matter, I'm safe, right? That would be David McCovey for me. I know I'm safe because I know he's not gonna let anything happen to me, my son, or my business, right? So you have to figure out who these people are and tell them, hey, this is who you are to me. So that's you guys' homework. I want you guys to fill out the form, the paper, <clears throat> and I want you guys to send them a note, send them a text message and say, hey, I did this assignment. And I realize that you're my mechanic. When everything goes, something goes wrong, I can call you and you can fix it for me. I want you guys to understand that the journey continues even after the destination, right? We talked about that even after we're no longer on earth because we're leaving legacies for our children and for the people that we love. And that's important for you guys to understand. Now, when obstacles arise, what are obstacles, you guys? Tell me what's obstacles. Hop in the chat box. Tell me what is an obstacle. An obstacle is a marshmallow. That can be squished. What's an obstacle? My obstacles are marshmallows, okay? When obstacles arise, you change your direction to reach your goal, okay? There's a bump in the road. If there's a bump in the road, your car needs to go around it. It needs to go another way. Change your direction to reach your goal, but you do not change your decision to get there. These are just marshmallows. They do not stop you from getting anywhere, okay? You need to understand that. I want you guys to understand that. I really enjoyed this lesson. I really enjoyed talking to you guys. If you got value out of this, do me a favor, hop in the chat box, put a V in there for me. Let me know that you got some value. I'm super excited that you guys decided to spend an hour with me on Valentine's Day. You guys are all my Valentines and I have a gift for each and every one of you, okay? So I want you guys to go to rawappreciation.com. If you go to rawappreciation.com, there's a little survey. I need your feedback. I want to know what you think. I want to make sure every time you guys decide to spend some time with me, you get value. I want to make sure that I'm the best trainer that I can ever possibly be because if you're not getting value, then I'm wasting your time and my time. And I don't want to do that. I want to make sure I give it to you. So when you go to raw <clears throat> um, appreciation.com, fill that information out, you will get an email with your gift. It's going to be nice. Um, everybody, your guests, everybody fill it out, okay? <clears throat> I want to thank you for spending Valentine's Day with me. And you guys, my training is officially over. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to turn it back over to Deidre. Thank you, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. All right, family. Wasn't that training amazing? Be sure to go to rawappreciation.com and complete that survey so that you can get your special gift. We definitely appreciate you, Tony. Happy Valentine's Day to you as well as everyone on the line. This video will be posted. It'll also end up on uh, Tony's YouTube channel. So if you'll see there on the screen where it says tonyward.info, you can go there as well and make sure you like and subscribe to her channel so that you can get access to all of her amazing trainings as well. 
Family, I trust that you have had a great time tonight, that you've had fun, that you've learned something, that you're dealing with those marshmallows in your life. Save them, put them in some hot cocoa or whatever you need to do with them and get ready to go to your destination and enjoy your journey along the way. With that being said, tonight's call is officially over. Have a great evening, everyone. Bye-bye.